Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat lets you create PDF files from web pages within the Acrobat interface. To create a PDF from a web page, click the Create PDF button in the tool center. Next, click the Web Page option from the left side of the Create a PDF from any format screen. The right side of the screen changes to reflect your selection. The Enter URL or Select File text box in this area lets you either type or paste the website address or URL to convert, or click the Adjacent Browse link below it to select a saved HTML file to convert from your computer. If you click the Browse link, use the Select File to Open dialog box that then appears to find and select the saved HTML file to convert to PDF, and then click the Open button in the dialog box. The local HTML file's location then appears in the Enter URL or Select File text box. If desired, you can specify the number of levels of site hierarchy from the selected URL or page to convert. To set these options, check the Capture Multiple Levels checkbox to show the additional options. To enter the number of levels of the website to convert to PDF, type a number into the Get Number of Levels field. The top level includes the page for the specified URL in the text box. The second level consists of all the pages linked to that top level page. Third level pages are all the web pages linked to the second level pages and so on. Be careful converting multiple levels of a website because downloading even two levels of a site can take a long time and generate a huge PDF. It is not recommended to select the Get Entire Site option button as many websites are too large to convert to a single PDF. Most often you'll want to use the Get Number of Levels option button and enter the number 1 into the adjacent field. Checking the Stay on Same Path checkbox only converts pages subordinate to the selected URL. Checking the Stay on Same Server checkbox only downloads pages on the same server as the selected URL. To set advanced conversion options, click the Gear Shaped Advanced Settings button. The Web Page Conversion Settings dialog box that opens lets you change these settings. On the General tab, you can use the drop down and check boxes to set options for the file type, bookmark creation, headers and footers, and PDF tags. The Page Layout tab lets you adjust PDF settings like page size, margins, page orientation and scaling. After adjusting any settings, click the OK button to apply them and return to the Create PDF screen. To then create the PDF, click the Create button. Acrobat converts the website and displays the Download Status dialog box. Depending on the size of the selected HTML page and the number of levels you selected to convert, this process may take several minutes. When the operation is finished, the Download Status dialog box closes and the new PDF appears in the document view. Occasionally, the Error dialog box may appear on screen at the end of the conversion if errors were encountered. You can read the error message and click OK to dismiss it. By default, Acrobat applies the name of the converted website to the new PDF. You can change the name of the PDF when you save the file. If you've captured multiple website levels, Note that Acrobat displays the website hierarchy in the bookmarks panel in the navigation pane. You can then edit the PDF further or save it to your computer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.